Now that we've assembled and stowed all the gear, let's make sure the boat is ready to go. This is where our walk around or pre-flight inspection takes place. Remember the pre-flight pilot thing that we talked about? You would be amazed at the number of people who have forgotten the drain plug. Most of us, uh, I mean them, won't admit it, but it does happen. That's one of the reasons we recommend a checklist. Most plugs are adjustable, so check that you have a tight fit. Next, check the charge in your battery, or batteries if you have a trolling motor. It's both embarrassing and disappointing to arrive at the lake and find the batteries are dead. It's even worse when you have just enough charge to start the motor, leave the ramp, and find that you start them at somewhere because there just wasn't enough to start a second time. While we're checking the charge, let's go ahead and check the fluid levels as well. It's a good idea to be sure the bilge pump is working. With the boat outside of the garage, hose a small amount of water into the bilge, turn on the switch, and see that it pumps water overboard. Be sure not to stand in the path of the hole where the water exits. Checking the oil can get a little tricky. You have to know what kind of engine you have before you can check it. If it's a four-stroke, it'll say so on the cowling. A four-stroke must be checked by removing the cowling and pulling the dipstick, just as you would on your car. Be sure you use an oil that's approved for four-stroke engines. If you have a two-stroke, you'll have an oil reservoir on the engine with an access cap, or the reservoir will be inside the boat where it is easily accessible. In this case, be sure to use an oil that's approved for a two-stroke engine. Refer to your owner's manual for the recommended oil. It's always a good idea to carry some extra oil for your engine when you take to the water. This will cover you if you read the oil level improperly or run so long that it's time to add more. <laughs> time flies when you're having this much fun. Not much you can do here. Simply turn the steering wheel and make sure the engine turns with it and the operation is smooth. If you have a built-in fuel tank, turn the key to on, not start, and check to see that you have adequate fuel for your mission. A good rule of thumb is to allow one-third of your fuel for the trip out, one-third for the return trip, and the remaining one-third for reserve. We'll talk about fueling later on the way to the ramp.